Hello everyone, this is Eda Golami from Agamat Soft Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to run one sample t-test in SPSS. So uh, one sample is actually used to when you want to compare mean of a one group to a standard value. So basically we use t-test in order to compare the means. Okay, so you want to compare the average of whether um, two groups to each other, which becomes independent samples t-test, or you want to compare the um, average value of one group to a standard value or to a considered value, which becomes one sample t-test, which is the topic of today's video, and whether you want to compare one group mean or one group average over time or after an intervention. Um, so that will become a paired t-test. Uh, so in today's video, we're going to go for one sample t-test and, and the data set I have in here is the height. Okay. So I want to check if the um, height of this data set that I have in here, of these people in here, is bigger than, let's say, 170 or not. Uh, is different than 170 or not. So, let's check the average of this data set at first. So, I go to Analyze, I go to Descriptive Statistics, and I go to Frequencies. So in here, I go to statistics and check the mean. I click continue and if this is checked, uncheck it. Display frequency tables, we do not want that. I click OK and you can see a really um, tiny, you know, table is shown in here, which says the mean value, the average of this data set is 176. So what I want to do is that I want to check if the average of this data set, if this 176 is meaningfully, is significantly different from 170. Okay, so get into here. Um, in order to run the one sample t test, and here I go to analyze, I go to compare means, and I go to one sample t test. So in here, um, so when this window opens up, click on the, on the data set you want to, you want to run one sample t-test on that and click on this button in here so that it gets into test variables box. Then click on options and in here you can see confidence interval percentage. So, uh, that will define your alpha level or um, alpha level or significance level. So by default, it counts as 95% as confidence interval percentage, which, uh, which makes alpha level as 5%. So that's okay also for me. So I could continue and in here you should define your test value. So, as I mentioned before, in one sample t-test, you want to check if the average of this data set is different, is significantly different than a considered value. Then it could be, you know, the, it could be the average of the population. It could be the, uh, some value that you have in your mind or etc. So I, I want to test it against value 170. That's it. I click OK and you can see these two tables are shown in here and so uh, we need something to be um, explained in here. So I go to paint so that I can explain something necessary in here and that's about yeah, that's about the null and alternative hypothesis in here in this one sample t-test. So what we have is an H0, which is the null hypothesis, which 
says that the mu or the average value of this, uh, you know, sample is equal to the average which is considered. Okay, so you can name it whatever you want. So the null hypothesis says that the average value of this data set is similar to 170 that I just um, mentioned in the box you saw it. And the alternative hypothesis says that the average of the sample is not um, equal to considered average and is significantly different than the value that we have defined, okay? So let's get into the tables one more time. You can see N um, stands for the number of your data in, in your data set. So you have 29 data points in here. And then there's the average, which I, I just calculated it uh, before, um, before the one sample t-test, um, before running the one sample t-test. And then the start and the standard deviation and standard error also is um, shown in here. Then you get, so that's uh, one sample statistics. That's a general statistics about your data set. And then you get into one sample test results. So you could see the test value, which I defined was uh, 170. And then the, the parameter or the variable, yeah, the variable that I wanted to test was height. And the T statistic is 3.5. Degree of freedom is N minus 1. So it becomes 28. And significance for two-tailed tests, that's, that's what is important. So that's 0.001. And that's what we wanted in here. So you see that p value is calculated as one, I'm sorry, 0 0.001. What you will do is that you compare it to alpha level, which was 0 0.05 okay so compare these two um these two numbers and you will understand that it's less than the alpha level so whenever your p-value becomes less than your alpha level it means that you could reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative one so what it means it means that your um you know the mean value of your data set is significantly different uh, than what you have defined as test value which was 170 so i guess that's it for today's video and um i will i will i will of course make other videos about independent samples data and paired samples t-test and also all these um t-test related videos in spss so that's it i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the sub channel we have all other videos about spss about excel and all these tutorials um if you're a beginner or if you are uh, interested please check them out so have a good day and bye